I'm live at Uganda Pavilion here at Expo 2020. I actually want to see what Uganda has to offer for us today at Uganda Pavilion. So guys, I'm here with a lady, a very beautiful Uganda lady. She's working here at the pavilion. She's going to take us around and tell us more about Uganda. Hi, how are you? Hi, good to see you. Oh, it's my pleasure. What's your name? My name is Happy, and I'm the host at the Uganda Pavilion. Oh, that, that's great. Uganda is participating in the Expo 2020 for three key reasons, which is trade, our tourism, and adventure. And our pavilion is divided into three sectors, which is trade, tourism, and uh, adventure. So the first, this side we are on, is for tourism. So here, we call this activity Golina Trekking, and uh, we refer this to as the Windy Impenetrable Report National Forest Park. So this activity, when tourists come to the country, they start looking for gorillas in the bush. They trek for like one day. Sometimes they don't even find the gorilla. One day they trek one yeah, day to look for yeah. gorillas in Uganda. So sometimes it's amazing. They don't even find it. They have to go back the next day. So we try to bring this bush here so you people can experience what it is like. As you can see, you may think there is nothing here, but there are some boats here which we call this trip and there are some exits of the gorillas. So how do these people get rid of the gorillas that they have to trek for one day just to look for gorilla in Uganda? How do they trek and like how do they find the gorilla? I thought you put them in a particular cave where right? whosoever comes in you can easily get rid of the gorilla. No, 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 no. We are trying to conserve the gorillas. So when you cage them, you're, you're, you're not giving them the freedom. So oh, wow, we have a, a very conservative uh, policy in Uganda for the wildlife. Okay. Yeah. Do they hurt people? Like, do they have any harm on people? No. And I'm just imagining if I go melt a gorilla like this, the gorilla will look at me like, who is this? No, they're, so, human, they're friendly. They're, they're friendly. friendly. Yeah, oh, well, that's are. amazing. It's time to experience the gorilla in Uganda. Okay. So, Uganda has 53.9% of the world's mountain gorillas. 53.9%. 53.9%. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Yeah. And this screen here shows you the investment opportunities that are in Uganda. We have profiled over 75 investment projects ready for you people to come and invest in our country. So what are you waiting for to travel to Uganda? What are you waiting for to travel to Uganda? What are you waiting for to invest in Uganda? What are you waiting for to travel to Africa? Guess what? I just realized that Ugandans have 11% of the bats in the world. Amazing experience here at Expo 2020. Let's see. Oh, wow. Which bat are you? 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 Which bat Which bat are you? Which bat are you? Which bat Which bat are which bad I am scanning all that together okay so this is it oh let's see 11 percent of the bats in the world are in Uganda oh wow this is an amazing experience I can see different different types of birds it's time to travel to Africa it's time to travel for adventure it's time to travel for tourism it's time to invest in Africa what are you waiting for to travel to Uganda? Let's experience more, let's experience tourism here at Expo 2020 Ugandan Pavilion. Right place, right time. Oh wow, we are the right place and at the right time. What are you waiting for? So this is coffee, okay. uh, washed and uh, natural uh, dry process. And then uh, coffee is uh, one of the things that we rely on as a country. It's, uh, we are the number one exporter of coffee in Africa and then the second biggest producer of coffee in Africa. Did you just hear that? Number one export of coffee in Africa. Oh wow, that's great. I'm yeah. impressed. So we're going to be having coffee supplements in the next, uh, in fact maybe tomorrow or the next day. Okay. That's why you see we have the Uganda Coffee Development Authority here with us. Uh, they are the one concerning about the coffee sector. So they are going to be here sampling us with coffee in the next three days. So you guys, wherever you are, please pass by the Uganda Pavilion and grab yourself a cup of coffee and test the smoothness of the Ugandan coffee. Oh, wow, well, that's good. So this is Uganda Airlines. Fly the train to the power of Africa. It's the most comfortable plane I've ever been in. It's time to fly with Ugandan Airlines. I recommend Airline. everybody to fly with this song. Oh, I see. Yeah. It's very nice, very comfortable. So you all should use Uganda Airlines. 
So remember, Uganda is a souvenir shop that we have here at the expo where people come, see products, and buy some of them to keep them and sell in the future. This time I visited the expo and I got this from Uganda. Okay. So it's a souvenir store. Try to remember you guys. So, okay, this is uh, instant bar. Uh, one of our de Uganda delicacies is called Matoke. Coffee? Oh, coffee? Oh, yeah, okay, that's good. Cool. And then we have tea. Tea, wow, yeah. And then we have uh, shea butter for the skin and hair. Shea butter for skin and hair. How yeah. much is this? This one is 58. 50 dirhams. Yeah. Shea butter. And then here we have honey. Oh, wow. Okay. And then some other products. Creativity, I mean. So this is the Renzon Capable project and it's a project that the government is trying to promote so it can get investors. So we have the highest mountain in Uganda which is Renzoni okay. and its peak is Margarita. So when people are trekking to the peak of Margarita so they can see the peak, they trek for five to seven hours. Five to seven hours? Yeah. Oh, wow. So we are trying to uh, make it convenient for everybody to go there. So we are looking at people with disabilities, we are looking at the pregnant women, we are looking at the kids, we are looking at the old people who want to go to this top of the mountain but they cannot go. Of course, so if yeah. at all we get this one, it becomes so much easier for them and then also saves the time. And also it will become very easier for tourists. Exactly. You know, if you don't want to trek, you don't want to trek to go up the hill, I think it's, it's more advisable to get this one. So you can easily get access to the top of the mountain. This way to invest in Uganda. So she's going to tell us about investing in Uganda. How can I invest in Uganda? Do you want to know how you can invest in Uganda? Tell us. Hi, so I told you earlier that we have over 75 investment projects that are already profiled and ready for you guys to just come, sit through, check what you're interested in, and get investing in the country. But before that, we want to say the Vision 2040. We don't want you to invest in a country that you don't know where its future lies. So Vision 2040 is uh, aimed at transforming Uganda into a competitive upper middle income country. And over here, we have some of the structured projects that are some completed and launched, some on schedule, uh, some are 96.5 uh, complete, the Uganda Airlines has taken off. So, and then we have some things that we have achieved. Today, for example, uh, growing international trade, uh, 60, uh, 6.4 billion US dollars, uh, personal remittances, and then uh, 5,224 kilometer of the Ghana roads have been paved, and then electricity generation, and then 4.6 kilometers of factories already made. Oh wow, that's amazing. So it's time to invest in Uganda. What are you waiting for to travel to Uganda? You've already had the features. You know, it's not actually about investing. Sometimes before you invest, you first have to know what is the investment about? What do you have to know before investing in this particular country? What is the country about? You just had her saying it's time to invest in Uganda. So here we have the Ghana Investment Authority with us. Your investment is your business. And here we have uh, some of the incentives in case you invest in the country. A uh, tiny tenure tax holiday on income tax, tenure income tax on exception on manufacturing, commercial, agriculture, industrial types. We have a hundred percent deduction on training local citizens. We have a hundred percent deduction on research and development. And if you want to do agriculture or invest in startup industries, we give you free land. See how peaceful the country is. See how amazing the things are. You get free land because you want to invest in agriculture. From the investment sector, we have the oil and gas. And we're trying to construct the East African crude oil pipeline uh, from uh, the port of Changa, Tanzania, uh, through the Indian Ocean. And once this pipeline was completed, it's going to be the longest heated crude oil pipeline in the world. So if you're there and you want to invest in the country, please pass by the pavilion. We will have you connected to the Ghana Investment Authority. And then this the pavilion where in the Opportunity District Country 256 on the Expo Mark. Thank you so much for watching. Expo ends on the 31st of March Subscribe. 2022. So it's time to pass by the Uganda Pavilion and experience all what they have for you guys. So please, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, like, and share with friends and family. See you in my next video.